Did Alexander Severus, the youngest Roman emperor, bring about an era of prosperity, or was his reign marked by chaos? This, my friends, is the enigma that surrounds the life and reign of Alexander Severus, a figure in history who continues to intrigue historians and enthusiasts alike. Born on the first day of October, in the year 208 of the Common Era, Alexander Severus came into this world in the city of Arca Caesarea, a city nestled in the ancient region of Phoenicia, which is now the modern-day Syria. His birthright was nothing short of royalty, for he was part of the Severan dynasty, a lineage established by the formidable emperor Septimius Severus. The Severan dynasty was not just a name, it was a testament of power, of resilience, and of a legacy that shaped the course of the Roman Empire. Alexander Severus, as a young boy, was born into this lineage, this legacy. But little did the world know this young boy was destined to wear the crown himself. Life, as we know, is full of turns and twists, and Alexander Severus's life was no different. In the year 222, at the tender age of 14, fate played its hand. The circumstances surrounding his ascension to the throne were as dramatic as they were unexpected. A young boy, barely in his adolescence, was thrust into a world of power and responsibility. A world that would test his mettle as a leader and as a monarch. The stage was set, the players were in their places, and the young Alexander Severus was stepping into the shoes of a role that was larger than life itself. This was a turning point in the history of the Roman Empire. The die was cast, and the world watched with bated breath as the youngest Roman Emperor, Alexander Severus, prepared to embark on his journey of ruling the vast Roman Empire. Thus, the stage was set for the youngest Roman Emperor, Alexander Severus, to embark on his journey of ruling the vast Roman Empire. Power comes with a price, and for young Alexander, it meant ruling an empire fraught with political intrigues and military threats. In the early third century, the Roman Empire was a hotbed of political manoeuvring. It was a time when power was as much a curse as it was a blessing. Amidst this tumultuous climate, a young boy named Alexander Severus was thrust into the limelight. His ascension to the throne was not a simple affair of lineage, but a complex web of influence, intrigue and power plays. Key to his rise were two formidable women, his mother, Julia Mamaya, and his grandmother, Mysa. Both women played a significant role in shaping Alexander's destiny. Julia Mamaya, a woman of great ambition and intelligence, was the guiding force behind her son's political education. She ensured Alexander was well versed in matters of state, instilling in him the values of justice and reason that would serve him well during his reign. His grandmother, Mysa, on the other hand, was the architect of his ascent. It was through her machinations that Alexander was adopted by the then Emperor Elagabalus and named Caesar, a move that placed him in direct line for the throne. Mysa's influence, however, was not without controversy. Her manipulation of the imperial court led to tensions within the ruling elite, a friction that would plague Alexander's early reign. And then there was the military. The Roman legions, the backbone of the empire, were a force to be reckoned with. Their loyalty was not given freely, but had to be earned. Alexander, young and inexperienced, faced the daunting task of winning their respect. His youth posed a challenge, as did the lingering memories of past emperors who had fallen out of favour with the military. But despite these obstacles, Alexander Severus ascended the throne. His rise was marked by careful negotiation, strategic alliances and the unwavering support of his mother and grandmother. It was an ascent that was fraught with challenges, but one that ushered in a new era for the Roman Empire. Despite the challenges, Alexander Severus ascended the throne, steering the Roman Empire into a new era. Once on the throne, Alexander's reign was anything but smooth sailing. Alexander Severus was a young emperor, ascending to the throne at the tender age of 14. Yet despite his youth, he proved to be a capable ruler, introducing significant administrative reforms that aimed to restore the Roman Empire's former glory. His reign was marked by a series of key events each one a testament to his leadership. In the realm of administration, Alexander sought to bring about change by introducing reforms that were both practical and forward-thinking. He reduced extravagant expenditures, curtailed the privileges of the powerful Praetorian Guard, 
and even sought to control inflation by improving the silver purity of the Roman currency. His policies were aimed at maintaining the stability of the empire and promoting the welfare of his subjects. But Alexander's reign wasn't solely about administrative improvements. He also had to deal with a slew of military threats. From the Germanic tribes in the north to the Persian Empire in the east, Alexander was constantly at war, defending the borders of his empire. Yet, he was not just a warrior emperor, he was a strategist, often opting for diplomacy over conflict. He negotiated peace with the Germanic tribes and maintained a delicate balance of power with the Persians, proving that he was not only a capable soldier, but a skilled diplomat. In the sphere of religion, Alexander was a devout follower of the Roman gods, but he was also tolerant of other religions. He even incorporated aspects of various religions into his personal beliefs. This religious tolerance was a cornerstone of his rule, promoting a sense of unity and harmony within the diverse empire. Yet, Alexander's reign was not without controversy. His reliance on his mother, Julia Mamea, for guidance was often criticised. Some felt that his mother held too much influence over him, leading to decisions that were not always in the best interest of the empire. But despite these criticisms, Alexander remained steadfast, believing in his mother's wisdom and guidance. Throughout his reign, Alexander strived to maintain peace, both within the empire and with its neighbours. He sought to restore the glory of Rome, not through conquest, but through good governance, administrative reforms and religious tolerance. His reign was a period of relative peace and prosperity, but it was also a time of constant challenges, both from within and outside the empire. In the face of constant challenges, Alexander's reign was a balancing act trying to restore the Roman Empire's former glory while maintaining peace. Despite the numerous obstacles he faced, Alexander Severus managed to rule with a sense of fairness and pragmatism, leaving a lasting legacy in the annals of Roman history. All reigns must end, and for Alexander Severus, his downfall was as dramatic as his rise. In the twilight of his reign, the once beloved emperor found himself at odds with the very military that had supported his ascension to power, the soldiers, who had initially welcomed the young leader's diplomatic approach, grew increasingly discontented. They yearned for the glory of battle, a glory that seemed scarce under Alexander's rule of peace and negotiation. The first waves of dissent started as murmurs, whispers in the barracks, but they soon grew into a loud clamour. The military's discontent was fuelled by a perception of Alexander's weakness, particularly his reluctance to engage the Germanic tribes that threatened the boundaries of the Roman Empire. The Germanic invasion proved to be a turning point in Alexander's reign. The once invincible Roman army under Alexander's command was unable to repel the invaders. This perceived failure was a bitter pill for the Roman military to swallow. Their dissatisfaction with their emperor reached a boiling point. In the year 235, while on a campaign against the Germanic tribes, Alexander Severus met his untimely end. The exact circumstances of his death remain shrouded in mystery but what is known is that it was a result of a mutiny within his own ranks. His own soldiers, disillusioned and frustrated, turned against him, leading to his assassination. The death of Alexander Severus marked not only the end of his reign, but also the end of the Severan dynasty. This dynasty, established by Emperor Septimius Severus, had held the reins of the Roman Empire for over four decades. Alexander's assassination signalled the beginning of a tumultuous period in Roman history known as the Crisis of the 3rd century, a time of civil wars, economic collapse and the eventual fall of the Western Roman Empire. Thus, Alexander Severus, the youngest Roman emperor, met a tragic end marking the close of the Severan dynasty. The legacy of Alexander Severus is one of the most debated in Roman history. Born in Arca Caesarea, a city in Phoenicia, and ascending to the throne in his early teens, his reign was marked by both triumph and tumult. His rule saw the implementation of progressive policies and practices, and he was known for his attempts at religious tolerance and advocacy for the welfare of his subjects. Yet, his reign was not without its controversies. His reliance on his mother and grandmother for counsel, his inability to effectively control the military, and his handling of external threats left a stain on his legacy. His rule ended abruptly with his assassination, marking the beginning of the crisis of the third century. 
contrasting views persist about his reign, his achievements, and his failures. Some regard him as a progressive young visionary, while others see him as a naive and ineffective ruler. Whether viewed as a young visionary or a naive ruler, Alexander Severus undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the tapestry of Roman history.